And we're back with some more oxygen not included on Rhyme. And today we're, we're going to get onto some decor stuff later, but for the time being, there was a lot of questions about this. Uh, this particular design where I dumped a bunch of carbon dioxide in here for this soda stream, soda something, others. what are they called? Soda machines. There's some soda machines over here. Yeah, soda fountains. And people were advising me that the carbon dioxide my dupes exhale, they give about 1.2 kilos a cycle. That could actually be used instead. That's very true. However, what I was thinking about was, if I say just go like this... Oh, we should probably trim that off. Actually, you know what? Just take all of that away. What I would be left with is, well, there's 123,000 kilos of carbon dioxide just in that one tile. Uh, that's another 123,000 kilos. That tile there has... Yeah, like 121 tons. There's there's a lot of carbon dioxide in here. There is just gargantuan amounts. There's 142,000 kilos of carbon dioxide. Now, what would happen if all of that was to get magically released all around on the base? Say, you know, and you had a good bird's eye view and you installed a nice gas overlay so that you could see gases better and uh, understand what's happening. Hmm, well, let's maybe check that out, shall we? So that's what happens then. Okay. Uh, right. I was just curious. Um, oh, also, let's have a quick look at the temperature overlay. That'd be an interesting one to see as well. Yeah, it got a little bit cold around there where all that carbon dioxide was. And I think, yeah, some of it got into the water supply. <laughs> right, and that is why. That is why I built that. I just wanted to see what would happen. I mean, in the background at uh, one point, I tried to take all the carbon dioxide from here and dump it into the rocket silo. I wanted to try and effectively fill the entire rocket tube with carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, it seems it's really hard to melt debris, and I wanted it to happen all at once. That was the hard part. And that was sort of my uh, little attempt at doing it, and dear lord, it filled the entire map. Like, it's 42 kilos of carbon dioxide pressure. If I keep leaving that going, it will just keep pushing the... Oh, wow, the hydrogen's up to 17 kilos in places. Yeah, it would keep pushing the hydrogen up. Though eventually, yeah, we'd get rid of it all. Anyway, I uh, I luckily threw down a save before all this happens. So maybe let's just skip back in time a bit. Still, totally worth the effort. There we go. Far less of a mess. Everything looking an awful lot better. I don't normally go with reloading when accidents happen, but th that was not really an accident. That was more just I wanted to see what had happened. Uh, yeah, I turned the uh, temperature back on. I had to precisely control the temperature so that it stayed at its liquid point. Still, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Anyway, uh, back to the plan. The plan was to install all of the recreational buildings. So far, we've got the espresso machine, we've got the soda fountain, we've got the showers, uh, we've got the jukeboxes and the arcade cabinets. I don't think they're really using this jukebox very much, but yeah, yeah it's got 0% use. Everyone stops over there. They prefer the first one, it seems. But we don't care. We want to keep this nice, organized, regimented. We want to like just sort of, you know, almost German-esque recreation. It has to be, you know, all grid-based or Swiss, depending on your preference. First up, we'll throw in four of the mechanical surfboards. Simple, easy to set up, shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, these things now are a little bit odd. I'm not sure exactly how much water they consume or if they're self-sustaining. They consume, where is it, uh, about two kilos of water per second, and they spill, or two, two kilos of water per use, is it? Must be filled with two kilos of water in order to function, and spillage of 50 grams a second. I don't know if it's going to cost me that much water to run them, or it's just a case of they spill 50 grams a second and you can recycle it. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, first, got to power them up, though. What's the power on these things? 480. Perfect. We'll run a single 2 kilowatt wire through there. There's one. Right. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Does anyone else get that where you keep hitting the... Uh, ah, you hit the wrong button and it's always the critter capture. Happens to me all the time. Hey, Water-wise, what are we going to fill this with? You know, I think I might want to get a second water pump. Actually, no. We only have the one to work with. We'll siphon off a little bit of water from right here, I think. I'm not too sure exactly how much they're consuming, so water comes in here, we dump it in the pit, then this scoops it up and dumps it into... Oh, damn it, yeah, I forgot the water pump, didn't I? That's going to put me over over capacity on this. So, maybe we can find something nearby that's not quite so close. To overload, and yes, we are golden. We'll just grab these out of that wire down there, and that should start filling up the uh, systems. And then we'll get to find out how well these work. 
Oh, and uh, yeah, maybe Super Bowl of Junk that's here. Damn it, I need to find somewhere to store microchips. I, is there even a storage available you can get for those? Uh, maybe for now we'll just deconstruct it and let it drop down a tad. Just to get it out of the way, I don't want my surfers, you know, that could really mess up one of their surfings. Oh, man. <laughs> Handstands? Okay, now they're just... Yeah, that, that's just... That's just too far, guys. That's too far. You're just styling at that point. Uh, so that... How much water is in there? 20 kilos of water. Uh, let's check this one here. Oh, yeah. You have 20 kilos of water and... Oh, yeah. It just goes down a tiny bit at a time. Hmm. I think maybe it's self-sustaining. We'll find out. If it costs an enormous amount of water, I, don't, I doubt it would be that useful. Well, just the morale cost for the water. Okay. Another one bites the dust. That should get the morale of our dupes up even higher. Next up. Uh, hot tub it is. So I've thrown in a hot tub. Instantly realized it overheats at 37.7C. My bad. I'm going to have to install some cooling in my base. I sort of stopped bothering with cooling a long time ago on all of my bases. Once I realized, who cares? It didn't it, it cause any issues. So my bases have been running hot for the last few games now because I haven't, well, I haven't been bothered. So I think it's time we grabbed one of these steam turbine designs over here. Plopped it maybe over here somewhere and dumped a whole crap ton of cooling into the base. You know what? We've got space over here. Maybe stick in a quick one right here. Yeah, quick copy-paste job using the little blueprint tool. It's very handy for just grabbing a snapshot and moving it down a few tiles. I did a few little modifications here and there myself. We're going to use this to cool an entire base, not cool the rocket chimney. So it will have to be slightly different. But honestly, this will be a very quick build and should be done in no time at all. As you can see... Super coolant goes through here. It's pretty much the same as the others, but instead of trying to cool down a big long string of things, we're just going to cool down this little box here at the bottom. Now, right now, it's not very cool because we put, well, 60 or 70 degree water in there. But you see the temperature in it is already going down. That's because the super coolant is going to dump an enormous amount of cooling in there pretty quickly. And that gives us a nice box that we can uh, temperature control. It's temperature control down to 24 degrees. Perfect. Now let's uh, get our get our pawns comfortable. I mean, our dupes comfortable. This is going to be where uh, the cooling comes in and out. And now I just got to figure out where I put the plumbing. Due to the minimalist style of this base, there's not really that much plumbing to be, that we have to work around. This should be not the worst, actually. I think we can get this done pretty quickly. In fact, the only thing missing is to put some water in. And I was thinking, why not just grab the water from down here? We already have a pool of water right there. It automatically restocks. Uh, I'll just have to make sure I put on a bridge so that we don't uh, accidentally overload it. And boom. That should be the end of that. It'll get restocked from water there, and shortly we should have this cooling loop starting to flow. So the water is effectively, assuming I didn't mess up any of my bridging, I've probably messed up some of the bridging. That water should flow onto the rail, go across this pipe, and why are you not pumping? Oh, power. Yes, every single time. The water should go onto this line and go all the way around the base. It's going to zigzag all the way up, zigzag up all the way around, and then zigzag down the other side. And all those tiles, are, all those pipes are made of granite. It's not a great conductor, but if you have enough of it and spread out over enough distance, it'll work. Uh, the temperature in here is set to 24 degrees, which should make the base nice and chill. Uh, how is our cooling looking over there? We're only down to 38. And I left that on. I filled that up with way too much super coolant. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my fault. I'm going to have to drain some of that out. <laughs> One second while we have uh, just a minor little bit of an alteration here. Not having to cool down that extra two and a half tons of super coolant. We'll, we'll probably make this just a little bit faster overall. Uh, which reminds me, I should clean up some of these, uh, some of the bottle emptiers I used to do the water filling. Oh, and that gas, high pressure gas vent can go. Uh, that should hopefully get that down. Now, uh, water wise, how are we doing? Wow, that loop is, is going to fill very, very slowly. May have put in quite a bit of water. Also, that water I think was pretty warm to start. Did I check the temperature overlay? Ah, oh, buggery. I can... <laughs> forgot that was, uh, that was hot water I was using. So, the hot water tub may take a little bit of time. We've got to let the cooling circulate around the base. Um, in the meantime, we might take care of some other side projects while uh, all of that stuff catches up. Also, my game is starting to run a lot slower. It might be all the piping or maybe... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, it might be the enormous amount of steam pressure over here combined with rockets coming in and out all the time. Yeah, that's probably not very healthy. But on the bright side, it looks amazing. Now, um, yes, while all of that is filling up and getting into chills so we can get the hot tub working, let's maybe uh, open up a few more of the furniture items. Now, uh, don't get too mad, but I did use the uh, natural tiles mod to put down some sand. I mean, if we're putting in beach chairs, 
there's got to be some sand, right? I mean, otherwise it's just not the same. So we'll put in a little bit of natural sand tile so that the dupes can, you know, get their toesies like all covered in sand, and then the sand will get into all the irritating spots. Um, all right, sun lamp. Oh, come on, you guys, you can't sun yourself until the sun lamp goes in. That's that's just silly. Uh, let's see how much power we need for this thing. 960 watts. Yeah, I'm going to have to run another power wire. <laughs> the amount of power wires I'm running... And the mess that I'm making with them is is sort of becoming a, a little bit ridiculous. You know what? Maybe I could run one from off this side. That might be an idea. I've got so much cooling going on this side. Why don't I just run uh, power wires from over there? That would make far more sense. With the power installed over here, we just run it over to the lamp. Boom. We've now got some very, very sunny dupes. Oh, wait. Do only some of them wear shades or is it just because they've got enough light that they wear shades? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't have some of them not wearing shades. That that just wouldn't be on. I need to make some adjustments. And the future's so bright, they all have to wear shades. I presume that means that uh, it's at the right level when they all have to wear shades, or maybe just a little bit too high. Well, they can't get melanomas. It'll be fine. Okay, so that's, that's costing us... Oh, overheat damage? How? How has that got overheat damage? I made them out of lead. Oh, that would explain a lot. Solid gold. Problem solved. Now we've got some sunny dupes. Uh, Temperature-wise, how are we doing down here? You know what? Let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit here and have a look. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, the cold, as you can see, is traveling, in, or the chill is traveling in from over here. And slowly but surely, it might take it 50 cycles. It might take it 60. It might take it 100. I don't care. It will eventually get through here. This is probably not helping, this water here. If we check the piping, what's the temperature coming in there? 30. By the time it passes there, it's gained a whole two degrees. You know what? That's not enough. Well, I need to get rid of that temperature faster. Let's grab some aluminum piping and uh, maybe make this quicker. There. It will give us a bigger hit of uh, heat right now, but at least we'll drain it out faster and be done with it. Uh, how's our cooling looking? Hmm. Almost down to the correct levels. All right. Well, while that's all going on and we're still getting ready for this tub, which is almost... Are you almost down to it? You're 35 degrees. What temperature do you overheat at again? 37. Okay, we'll disable auto pair and re-enable again. What's the water like in here? Contents, zero. And anyway, we'll fix you, and then we'll get you working. Okay, you should stop overheating now, thankfully. Next up, though, we'll get down to the next piece of, uh, what, recreational building materials? We're going for saunas, and, oh, I queued them up out of steel. I was thinking, you know what, steel would be the smart plan, but then I realized it's not gold, and we, we have standards here. Gold amalgam saunas it is. I've ran a power wire from over here. We'll get that hooked up. It'll take a couple of minutes. But we need to fill these also with steam. Uh, it seems to have a steam input as well. Mm. Okay, so steam input required, eh? I wonder where I could get my hands on vast quantities of steam that wouldn't cost me any real effort, except for maybe a bunch of uh, thermium. Yeah, we can just grab some thermium. We'll put... Do we need more than one gas pump for this? Uh, I don't think we do. Uh, we'll take... Uh, Mm, I'll have some igneous rock, thank you very much. We'll just uh, run that over there. You know, where am I, where am I going to put this through? Let me, let me think about this for a second. That should just about work. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit short on insulation. Uh, I had to cut it using the, the use of insulation here, so potentially some of that could crack in the pipes. Though, I think we should be fine. I, I don't know exactly how much steam this uses. I might have to put in a second gas pump. I haven't done any figures on it. I just want to get it started up and running so that we can get some duplicates in there and get them sewn it up. I mean, they've got... How are you overheating again? Oh, their cooling loop not working out? Ah, the cooling loop is draining the heat out of that water. You'll notice it's gotten an awful, awful lot cooler down there. We're down to, what, 43 degrees? That used to be up in the 60s before we started. Yeah, it's just the aluminum pipes are making it a little bit faster, so that will overheat for a bit, but but it will be better soon enough and we can get started again on this. I oh, would you mind if we can remove that? We don't need to have uh, any more water going onto the cooling loop. Anyway, are you finished yet? No, but you will be in a minute. And it begins. Soon we shall see how the, what these Sonys are made out of. I'm kind of curious. Empty pipe? Liquid, no liquid output. Oh, damn it, they have a liquid output? I probably should have thought of this beforehand as well. Uh, okay, liquid output. Let's see where that's going to go. Ah, oh, damn it. I may have put a bunch of pipes around here for some bizarre reason. God knows why. I have thought, of, ah, I've thought about this carefully, and I have a very, very simple solution to this problem. Output pipe. Done. Second output pipe. Done. Uh... More insulated piping. Igneous rock, thank you very much. And then, uh, whew, well, where should we put that? Well, I'm thinking we sort of just drop it right about there. And that should fall straight down. Oh, nope, there's a tile in the way. We'll get rid of that. And uh, that should fall straight down. Oh, wait, there's a tile there. We might want to get rid of that. Then that should fall straight down into our liquid tank. Problem solved. 
problem, solution, Le- least least amount of effort and time required to fix that problem. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's skip this forward until we can have some dupe saunaing it up. Oh, wow, it's already active. What? I, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even get to watch. That's not okay. That is a bit creepy now that I say that out loud. Hey, Ghostman, Gooseman, how you doing, buddy? Okay, steam. Wait, what? What happens to steam? Oh yeah, so fifty kilos of steam, two five six. And then it's... Oh, small bit of water came out there. Where'd it go? And this water is at ADC. Okay, so it consumes steam and spits out water, and it destroys the heat in the steam. That's a good way to destroy an awful lot of heat. Well, a good way to waste an awful lot of heat. And then let's have just one last quick look. I want to make sure it's about the right amount of water. There's 10 kilos. Yeah, 15 kilos. 25 kilos of water per, per use. And is that gas pump keeping up? Uh, I might want to increase that. We'll see. You know, a second gas pump couldn't hurt. Why not? I mean, it's not like thermium's expensive or anything. Uh, technically, it kind of is. I suppose it's taken me so long to get some of the uh, the materials. Right there. Put in a ladder segment. Done. Oh. Power. Power. Yes, I've made the power wires in here out of steel, though I'm not sure that's good enough, considering we're melting the automation wires. But I think we'll be safe. Probably. All right, that's that done. Now it's time for the final ones. Final ones are... Oh, I'm going to throw the juicer. I'm going to have to make a bunch of crops. That's going to suck. But first, first we got the vertical wind tunnel. That one should be relatively easy. Wait, I can't make it out of plastic? Why can't I make it out of plastic? It's not fair. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to remove a whole floor to put this sucker in. Damn, these things are huge. Uh, I should probably leave some space for people. You know what? No, it doesn't matter. Just about fits. Perfection. Now, uh, yeah, I want to start planning power out right now. I've learned my lesson from the last time. I'm pretty sure these things are power hogs as well. Yeah, we'll sort this out. Right, that should be finished in short order. Power. Check. 1,200 watts. Uh, let's see. No water inputs that I can see. No gas inputs. Wait, does this have any other inputs? Outside recreation room. Yeah, we don't care. Outside recreation room. No one cares if they're outside a recreation room. They still work. Mm, but is that all you need to do with that thing? Because that means then my duplicates can come along and start using it, right? Okay, duplicates can, and I'm pretty sure more than one can use it at a time. Okay, that's two. Uh, Ant-Man, Ant-Man, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, Turner, Turner, like, take take Turner's example. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, I don't think you look, you're not, you don't even look like you're enjoying that. You know what? That looks so good, we'll, we'll get a second one. Can, can four use it? I think it's only three. We may have to install a second one just to be perfectly safe. Yeah, we definitely need to install the second one. I think they're glad I put in the second one. I mean, look at them. They're they're just, you know, loving it. It seems that, yeah, it's the animation is actually located on where you are. So you want to be this guy over here, or you want to be this person over here. The, each side, yeah, in the middle, not so good. Like, poor Black Widow, she's having a terrible time. <laughs> uh, okay, that leaves... I think that's all the recreational buildings, bar one. There's only one left. Oh, wait. Yes, it was pointed out to me in the comments. Sergey, Sayenko, and Jod. Okay, sorry, Sergey, I probably butchered your name a bit there. I'm, I'm not good with the c- Cyrillic al- alphabet. But, um, yeah, they both mentioned that I forgot about the table salt. Don't forget the table salt. So table salt is technically a recreational item. Uh, okay, so let's get ourselves some table salt on. This may take a little bit of effort, though. Um, we're going to need some rock crushers. I don't think I have any machinery left in this place, so we're, we're going to actually have to build some refinement. Just to make salt. This is... Ugh. Uh, do we want to need it near the food? Near the food? Further away from the food? You know what? Let's just cram it near the dining hall somewhere. Ah, there we go. We can place one. Nope. Can we? Can we? Nope. Nope. Ugh. Damn it. Why did you have to remember this, guys? Why? I don't want to build this. This is... Uh, it's like plus one morale for an awful lot of extra time and animations. You know what? We're going to make lots of salt. We're going to make all the salt. We're not going to mess around with this. You wanted salt? We're going to... Oh, and we're not going to make them out of copper. Hell no. We're going to make stuff out of gold amalgam because that's what we're here for. We're here to do it with maximum bling at this point, remember? Oh, God, the game is chugging like crazy. And there. That should be plenty of salt. And no, I'm not salty about this at all. No pun intended. Uh, power. Power will be required. We might need to run a couple, maybe a couple of transformers over here. Maybe just a few. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. We have plenty of power going around the place. Yeah, just one there. Maybe stick another one there. Throw in some bricks for them. Power organized. Everything ready to go. I even stockpiled some, uh, some salt right here, so it's all ready. Now, where is this godforsaken thing? Salt to table salt. 
destroy 100 kilos of salt and get five grams. Five grams of table salt. Ugh. Yep, there we go. We should have plenty of table salt out of that. Now, uh, where can we store the table salt is what I want to know. It's got to be in here somewhere, right? Found it. Table salt. There we go. We'll store most of the table salt there. You know what? I should probably centralize that. That would be a better idea. Otherwise, what if they want to get for stuff for the dining hall over here? So we'll store all our table salt right there. We can get rid of you. And yeah, that should give us a good... De oh, that's one last thing I also forgot to do. Before we get on to the, the, the final one, it's these pepper beds that keep dropping on the ground. There might be some ways around this. There have been suggestions, and uh, I want to give one a try. Be before I give that a try. That... That is industrial salt production. <laughs> Look at them go. Oh, that is ridiculous. Who wants salt? Everyone wants it today. Uh, Temperature-wise, let's see how the temperature is coming along down here. Ah, there we go. Everything's nice and chill. Everyone's happy. Uh, you, what's going on? You're not happy. Why are you not happy? You've got a water imp Ah, you don't have a water output. You know what? I think we can fix that pretty quickly. Where's the where's the water? Yeah, there's water down here. How about we just uh, drop you at the bottom? That should be pretty fast. Uh, we just got to make sure we squeeze you right through there. Insulated tile to make sure all the water goes out. Boom. Boom there. Uh, a couple of bridges to fix this thing. The wonky bridge shuffle where you kind of shuffle from left to right just so you can get by these bridges. These uh, pipes. I, I should, of course, put the bridges on the pipes and uh, on the pipes that are going this direction and just go through. But... I sort of have a set amount of water going through there to feed the the carbon skimmers that goes through the the water save. I have one water save of keeping four carbon skimmers going. It works, but hmm. Okay. But uh, one thing we do need to do is remove all of this stuff. You need to go right down there. Uh, you also need to go, and you also need to go. And we will just replace you with ladder segments. Boom. And that's more water disposed of. Oh, power. Seriously? Every damn time. Oh yeah, how much do you need? 240. How much have we got on this wire? There was too much on that one, so we went with the bottom line. The bottom line had a lot more power going for it. So that runs our carbon skimmers. And now, now it runs our hot tub also. Once that's activated, yeah, we should be fine. Uh, Temperature-wise. Oh, yeah, that's salt. That salt, it seems, generates a lot of heat. I, I, that actually makes sense. Salt does generate a lot of heat. <laughs> what I've seen, anyway, on the internet. Um, hmm... Might want to put in some temperature shift plates, or maybe some, uh, maybe a few more radiant pipes will help the, the chill get out around here. Uh, give me some aluminum, grand. We'll just put in a few chunks right along there. A few one along the top. I'm not even going to try and make them even. That should take care of all those problems. Right, what was left? Ah, yes. This stuff going off and rotting. This is actually a twofold thing. Because of this issue where stuff ends up rotting or you find rotten stuff around the map, that's the only reason I run these bins down here. I have storage bins for polluted dirt. And I keep the polluted bit dirt down here and I have deodorizers beside them. Well, I have one thing of sand to feed all the deodorizers. I have never built a single compost on this map. No compost. Not once. All the polluted dirt is in these and it just off gases and turns into more oxygen. Now, there's some food poisoning germs, I think, in one of these. Eh, never mind. It just means that uh, I've never actually had to build one, but I leave them there instead of just leaving the, the polluted dirt and stuff on the ground. So it all gets localized in one spot, especially the rot piles. I don't want them lying around dirting up the place and they would keep accumulating up here. But now, now we get to get rid of those. Uh, does this give 900? We almost have a kilo of table salt in there. That's, that's, never mind, never mind, never mind. What we're going to do here is we're going to set up auto sweepers across the top here to sweep up the gunk, but we can't put the auto loaders inside the room. I've seen a few ways to do this, and I want to try my own particular brand of doing it. Did you know you can build statues on top of a tile, and then delete the tile, and the statue will just hang there, giving off decor in midair, like a floating statue. Yeah, that, yeah, I should really work on the delivery of that. Uh, but what we can do, let's see, we'll go in here, and with the buildings there, I had to restart the game there for a second ago, because uh, I had a little, a wee bit of a problem. The problem being, they stopped sweeping, which is, you know, annoying. But where is it? Give us some gold amalgam here. What we're going to do is we're going to install some doors right about here. And if we do that nice and quickly, hopefully the room bonus won't be gone for too long, though. I'm not really too worried about morale issues right about now. All of my, uh, we'll go over the numbers at the end. But for now, I, th I think we can safely say our, our pawns are pretty happy. 
So that can reach all the way out to there. Well, we're going to have to delete these statues, but I did want to show you, you can place them up there and they still count towards decor. So you can see them highlighting and not highlighting. Just a nice little trick if you want to cram in the absolute maximum amount of decor. What you could do is mix a, a floor of double statues, put statues down, put a, well, put a block here, put a statue on top of it, delete the block and then place another statue below it. And you can literally stack statues in unbelievable quantities. I've never done it yet, but I'm tempted. Everything is now in place. At this point, we just grab this and we'll go to food. Where are you? Here we are, pepper bread. We'll also take barbecue just in case they drop some of that. Then we'll copy the settings and think. cost everything. And now it all gets swept up. Now, anytime they drop food in here, it won't just lie on the ground until it eventually goes off and my people have to take it off to the whatever disposal area. It all gets put on the conveyor rails and right back down here. Now, there was a cost. I had to cut out one statue for each one of these, which is not perfect. And also, that's not symmetrical, and it's bugging the crap out of me. I could probably get rid of that painting. No, no, no. It's done. It's finished. It's good. Uh, down here, I've ran into another problem. There's just not enough downtime for them to enjoy all of the amenities that are available to me at, at the moment. I mean, they've got to get their coffee. They've got to get their soda fountain. They've got to dance. They've got to use the arcades. They've got to surf. They've got to use the hot tub. Oh, this is the first time seeing someone use the hot tub. Yep. You just know what they're doing in there. Everyone does it. You just you just know it. That that's You're supposed to save that for the ocean. Yep. They've also got to get into their sun tanning. They've also got to get into their vertical wind tunnel and the sauna. There is not enough chunks of downtime in the day. So we are going to be even more benevolent and their downtime is about to increase by another three slots, was it? Uh, one, two, three. Yes. Okay. So we'll make it three slots. Uh, what is it? Yeah, three slots. You can all have three more slots. Boom. This should hopefully give them just a little bit more time to get things, get themselves uh, all the morale going. Then we'll have to uh, have to do is skip forward a little bit and see if that's enough down. Well, see what their morale looks like. We have the numbers from last round. Let's see what it's up to this round. All right, the numbers are in and the numbers are good. But a quick thing before we go through the numbers, uh, a couple of things I missed when I was going through the footage. These uh, conveyor loaders. I should have really specified the reason I'm putting them up here and all the way out of the way is because if they're put in the same room as the dining hall, they get it, they get rid of the room bonus. So if those were in there, the room bonus would disappear as it counts as industrial machinery and destroys the room bonus. Another thing that's a, a common misconception is you, the comfy beds, they don't need to actually be in a single bedroom to get the room bonus. For example, that is classified as a bedroom and it gets the plus two morale, even though it says single comfy bed. You don't actually need a single comfy bed. The comfy bed is just was originally referred to as a single comfy bed. Um, it's nothing to do with having, to, that's all you have to have in there. It can be 64 tiles in size. The only other restriction is it has to be in a four tile high room. You can do some weird things where you arrange the beds and there's only two tiles high roof and then in one space you have a four tile high section. There's things you can do like that to squeeze in more beds. I probably should have experimented with that more, but mm, I, I've never been a comfy bed person. Anyway, the numbers. Uh, first up, we have seven kilos of table salt. <laughs> Okay, that's just uh, ridiculous. All the salt is gone, thankfully. And uh, numbers-wise, when it comes down to the skill points, we have an average skill point of, drumroll please, 76.7, or sorry, morale. 76.7 .7 morale for all our duplicates. 76.7 .7 on average. Now, what does that mean you can do? Well, at 76.7 .7 morale, let's just say we were to get a few more skills for Abe here. Now, Abe is special. The reason Abe is special is because he only has one interest. And that interest is improved strength in plumbing, which is honestly terrible. It's 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 only two skills. Yet we're able to max him out all the way. And the maximum morale requirement is 68, which they handily cover. I wouldn't advise doing this because if anything goes wrong in your base, it, it, it could cause catastrophic problems. But with the amount of morale you have, yeah, that you can literally max out the entire tree and not care. That's how much morale there is. Okay, I think we've covered morale. I think I think we've got a good, stable, reliable base right there. <laughs> That's just stupid. Though I have to admit, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's sort of like a background music going on there. Can you hear it now? I've turned it up quite a bit. That's the sort of... Uh, the ambient music you'd like when you're on the beach. But anyway. Uh, oh, going forward, I'm going to be cutting back on the episodes. It's just uh, with the new schedule, I can't do six episodes a week. It's too hard. So I'll be doing two episodes of Vani and two episodes of RimWorld. Uh, Monday and Wednesday will be Oxygen Not Included. Tuesday, Friday will be RimWorld. Uh, it's just uh, with the schedule, I feel 
I feel like I was uh, maybe rushing some of them out before they were ready. I'd prefer a little bit more quality over quantity, so to speak. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this trip down uh, Morale Lane. I think we've managed to hammer out most of it. Oh, and I've included the save game file for this before it, uh, well, at the very start when it's still liquid. So if you do want to pop this open yourself in different ways and see how it explodes, feel free. Save file is there. And as always, the save file for the whole map is there. So if you want to play around and check out any of the builds, go and uh, knock yourselves out. Oh, and I'm running out of uh, ideas here on what crazy stuff to do in this map. So if you've got any suggestions, stick them down in the comments. I'll, uh, I'll see if there's any uh, crazy ideas I can steal off you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.